Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you the repository pattern in C-Sharp. So we use repository pattern anytime that we need to access an external data source, like database for example. So in basic scenario we could use the book controller to retrieve a request of adding a book and then call the book service. And inside of the addBook method we could put the, all the logic required to save this book into a database. But using a repository pattern, we add another level of abstraction. So we start at the book controller, then we call the book service, and the book service calls the book repository, which contains all the needed methods to add, update, delete, or get an entity from the external database or external data set like it may be for example a an external file let's see how it looks in practice so here we have a basic console application let's see what we've got here we've, we've got the book.cs file which contains the definition of public class book containing two properties uh, identifier and name and the basic constructor which initializes this, this field um, let's go to the interfaces directory. Here I have the public interface I repository. This is the base, basically the interface that we will use to create our repository. It contains definitions of four, or declarations rather, of four methods add, update, delete, get. These are the basic operations that we can perform on a dataset. For example, we can add something to a database or any any other data set like external file or something like this then i have the book repository class which uh, inherits which implements the i repository of book um, interface so as you can see the i repository uh, interface is um, an inter a generic interface so i can pass an entity class name into the, the definition of this interface. So I am defining the book repository as a class which imp implements the generic interface I repository of book. So it will be used to add books, update books, delete books, get book. Alright, so um, here I have the implementation of the methods from the interface. So I'm not going to write the logic um, any any specific logic for adding adding books for example i'm just going to use a simple comment just to state that this is a place where we would um, write the logic to add a book into the database or delete get or update so uh, then we have the book service which um, has one field which is the book repository and one public method which basically invokes the book repository add method. So to use this structure we can use the program.cs file, initialize the repository, we can initialize the service by invoking new book service and passing the repository inside of the constructor and then we can invoke the add book method passing in new instance of a book object with for example name Harry Potter. So, by invoking the add book method, as I have shown you on the, skip, on the uh, diagrams before, we are invoking the service layer. Then, the service layer is invoking the infrastructure la layer by invoking the add method of book repository. And the book repository is a class which, in which implements the iRepository pattern for book entities and will contain all the logic specific to a given data set for example database or external file something like this so this is basically how we can use the repository pattern it is a very widely used pattern it is used with uh, entity framework out of the box uh, but you can use it with any other other scenarios where you, you have to um, save perform operations on, on some databases. Um, so I hope that the screen introduction has helped you to understand the concept.
and I hope to see you soon in the future videos.